amending non-core fields of GST registration example. Ashok has recently opened a new bank account and wants to add its details into the GST registration of his company. To begin, access the GST portal by visiting the website www.gst.gov.in. From the home page, open the services menu. Click the registration category and select Amendment of Registration Non-Core Fields option. The next page opens with Non-Core Fields of Business Details tab by default. Select the Bank Accounts tab to see the options for adding or editing bank account details. To add one more bank account, increase the number in Total Number of Bank Accounts Maintained field by one. Notice that the Add New button has become active. Go ahead and click it to get the fields for entering the details of your new bank account. Enter the account number. Select the type of account and enter the IFSC code of your bank's branch. If you do not know the IFSC code of your branch, then click the provided link here to let the GST portal search it for you. In the pop-up, select your bank, state, district and city and click Save. For demonstration purposes, I have entered my IFSC code already. The next step requires you to upload a supporting document such as the first page of the new accounts passbook, its statement or a cancelled check with the taxpayer's or business entity's name printed on it. I'll select the first page of bank's passbook from the available options and upload the file. Make sure that your document must be either in PDF or JPEG format with size of up to 1 MB. Once done, click Save and Continue to save this information. You will see your newly added bank account listed with options to edit or delete it. To submit this information in the GST portal, click Continue which will take you to the verification step. Accept the declaration. Select the name of authorized signatory. Enter the place and sign the application using either of the given options. If you are submitting an amendment application on behalf of a company or a limited liability partnership LLP firm, then you must use the DSC option. Otherwise, you may sign by any of the three options displayed. For this demonstration, I'll use the EVC option. I'll enter the OTP and validate it to successfully file my amendment application. It's that simple.